Thumbs up, thumbs down, just okay. What do you make of this PMI? I would say it's a slightly beat. Um, okay. So compared to 48.7%, which was our original forecast, mm. 49 is pretty good. And also, especially against the high frequency indicators such as cement, you know, coal consumption for IPPs, rebars, actually, I think that this number is not bad at all. Okay. What does it mean in terms of where we're going to see stimulus? I mean, you mentioned it's not going to be a bazooka, but what, what would it look like? Well, we think that probably the gov uh, well the market has already been pricing in that the government will roll out something in the in the package and uh, probably the the more the better. Um, however, I would say that the government may not necessarily release something much more substantial, especially immediately. Mm. Uh, for example, we think what will matter the most is probably a restructuring of the local government financing vehicle existing stock of debt, mm. and at the same time probably roll up new measures um, to to leverage up the public sector and uh, invest more and as soon as possible. Um, but for such measures, that probably wouldn't be rolled out until maybe after the Politburo meeting at the end of uh, next mm. month. Is that, is that going to take time, the restructuring of the local government financing vehicles? And is that a cash transfer from the central government? What do you think that looks like? Well, it's a little bit more technical than that. So they would probably have to involve some policy banks, such as China Development Bank, and they will have to go out and buy some of the more risky type of LJV debt, and then make a big announcement saying that we're drawing a line, and this is not going to be the place we will allow further defaults or, you know, de facto defaults. And that would probably help uh, from the, you know, immediately, and then not by actually, you know, putting in too much resources. We're talking about maybe out of the 50 uh, 55 trillion of LGIV debt, only about 14 to 15 trillion is publicly tra traded. Mm -hmm. And within that, 11 to 14 percent needs uh, immediate attention. So they only need to do a little bit, but, but making a you know general big gesture and telling everyone that we're doing this so that the market would understand what they're doing and it's, the market will automatically stabilize because investors would actually believe what the government says and they will come in and think that this, this is actually a steal. Mm -hmm. Is it enough to reverse the, the slippage in growth that we've seen? Well, I think unless we do that, just by cutting interest rate by 10 to 15 basis points, just by, you know, adjusting the HPR on the margin, or, for example, you know, lowering the loan-to-value, uh, well, increasing the loan-to-value yeah. ratio from, yeah. you know, what, 30 to, uh, to 35 percent, that wouldn't necessarily help. So we think that we need to do a much more substantial change, and that is not going to come out in the near future. Yeah. This is more likely for July, August time, and uh, the government uh, would probably be uh, currently considering such plans. Mm. Do I take it then that things aren't as bad then if they're, if, if they're taking the less urgent, mm. less short-term measures, and I guess in some ways still focus on some of the structural initiatives that they put in place? First of all, this is not an understatement of what the short-term measures can do. I think they should still go ahead and do it. Even if that 10 basis points of uh, interest rate cut does, doesn't okay. really move the needle, well, it is better to have it than not. Yeah. Um, well, they should keep doing that, but uh, in the meantime, we are looking for, and hopefully uh, keeping our fingers crossed, that uh, they will get more resolutions on the more structural front, especially by addressing the public sector debt.